Welcome back to the channel. Today's day 112 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items you're gonna use until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take a break. <sighs> Haven't done this exercise in a long time. <sighs> it does feel good. <sighs> Exercising. So <clears throat> here's an update on what's going on in the journey. So I said, previously I said that I was going to do more pull-ups, had the pull-up bar, the bathroom doorway. Every time I went by, did pull-ups. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> so apparently having the pull-up bar on the bathroom door is a nice sore whatever that means <laughs> so no more pull-up bar on the doorway <laughs> uh, another thing is oh well, let me just refresh on retouch basis on that pull-up bar and pull-ups so no I'm not doing pull-ups outside of what I do in here with this handy dandy pull-up bar in here so <clears throat> those are the only pull-ups I do <sighs> so if I'm gonna get stronger I'll have to try it in here not in the house with the other pull-up bar now moving on to eating habits, uh, oatmeal in the morning, 
Yeah, I cancel that. <laughs> I not always have breakfast. And I decided to just not have those colors in the morning. So whenever I eat anything in the morning or when I wake up, whatever time that is, that's it. That's my breakfast. I'm not going to be a carbophobe or being afraid of any type of carbs or whatnot, fast or slow carbs. So <clears throat> cut the uh, oatmeal. Not saying that I don't need oatmeal. I still do. <laughs> it's just not strictly a breakfast. That's all you're going to eat. Nope. Uh, so. I just eat whatever I want to eat. As <laughs> simple as that. I've seen I've seemed to be losing weight anyway. So or losing fat. Seems to be fat anyway. Alright, time's up. We're gonna go for another set. And then we'll continue with the update. Here we go. Let's take our second break. Whew. So, let me take some air first. All right, back to dieting slash Eating habit changes. I am back to eating whatever I want to eat or whatever is available for breakfast. Not limited to oatmeal. Life. It's not as much fun if you're not enjoying what you're eating. And eating oatmeal for breakfast is not bad at all. 
it becomes a chore or a pain when you have to eat it every day every time or that's the only choice you have <laughs> so out the window <laughs> Now, what else? Oh, I don't know if you missed it. Well, actually, you didn't miss it. Well, you just did, because that particular video still has zero views. So, right here is day 101 and day 100. Both of them. You can see the difference of uh, the two is the beginning of the journey. And also right here, you can see <laughs> all the photos I've taken of myself from day one to day 101. No, I have not taken 101 pictures of myself like that. Only those, that's it. All right, time's still ticking. Whew. Just a few more seconds, and we're gonna go for another round. To make a little pause, I mean, we'll take another break, and we'll start with our core exercises. Even though this is pretty much a total body exercise, as we're doing it now. But today's our day off. It's gonna be. Uh, light workout day so here we go time is up all right here we go All right, another break. Oh. Whew. Whew. Oh. This definitely <laughs> takes a toll on me. This is what man. This is what a man out of shape looks like. Whew. Can definitely do more than. At the beginning of the journey, it's still 
now like a walk in the park. Okay. So I recently, recently started more watching to, not watching to, I recently started watching what I eat. Not looking at it while it goes into my mouth. <laughs> what I mean by is, um, considering all the calories I'm consuming. So in other words, I'm going back to the basics. Calories in versus calories out. So it is a little over 180 days to go to the end of this journey. Not to the end of the journey, but to the end of the beginning of the journey of the 300 days fitness challenge. So want to make it so I'm already lean by the time I'm, I'm 100 days out so not too much of on, on a deficit not too much of a deficit in the calories but enough to go back to go down in, in body fat percentage in the meantime, while I still have some decent amount of fat, <laughs> oh, I'll try to put on, I'll try to put in as much muscle as I can safely without hurting myself. <laughs> I'll try. We'll see. Ugh. But again, that right there is still the goal. Will I get there? Well, stay tuned. We'll find out. All right. Uh, let me bring this bench over here. Give me a second. And I'm breaking stuff. All right, time for leg raises. Uh. All right, ready or not, here we go. All right, a second on the break. Today I'm actually taking it easy on this exercise. Again, it's my day off. <laughs> Getting the core. Warming up the entire body. <sighs> I 
And I think that for me, this is the format that works the best. One muscle group per day. And go not all out, but as far out as I <laughs> as I can. Or as I want. It's hard to go to failure with some exercises. I can do push-ups to failure. I can do uh, pull-ups to failure. I used to go dips to failure. But that was until I got <laughs> uh, spasm on my back. Pretty sure I was doing it wrong too. But I was doing dips until I couldn't. But anyway, dips, pull-ups, push-ups. Um, I would say leg raises to failure or core exercises because before my abs can't contract anymore my back is already telling me to stop so now I can't really do leg raises or crunches which I, I said I was gonna try uh, I haven't tried doing crunches yet the closest to crunches I've done in the past eight years somewhere between eight years and and 13 years the closest to crunches I've done is what I was doing there while I was doing leg races but we'll keep it I say it is. It's not worth to push myself so far that I get hurt just to look like that guy right there. <laughs> All right, time's up. Here we go. All right, let's take another break. Today's exercise feels a little lame. I don't know why. Personally, my mind is everywhere but here. You find a way to refocus and get on going. Maybe it's because I'm not feeling the exercise. I'm not feeling it right now. I used to feel a lot more when I was on the floor. Maybe that is the problem. All right, we'll try that next time. So, actually, I'm gonna try that today. Um, this coming set is not going to be leg raises. It's going to be uh, Let's see, cocoons or bicycles, one of the two, whatever comes first when I start doing the reps. So you'll find out. <laughs> uh. So maybe it's not that my mind is all over the place, but it's also that I'm not feeling the exercise. to do them on the floor so that being said let's see. All right. that's 
There's a timer somewhere where I can see it. And also it's an update. My lats, I can feel the exercise on my lats. I can feel it on my shoulders. Uh, I can feel it on my chest. I can feel my legs. Uh, what else I can feel? Uh, my calves, not so much, but definitely my hamstrings and my quads. <sighs> my biceps, I feel my biceps. I feel my triceps a little bit. Not so much the triceps. Just a tiny bit. Like if I try to feel something, I kind of feel the exercise, but no, very much. Maybe as much as my calves. And I do not feel my abs for sure. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go with cocoons. That's, that's the answer, final answer. Cocoons. We'll do a couple sets of that. And then we'll go to leg races, but on the floor. All right, time's up. Here we go. Have the timer. Tick tock, tick tock. All right. We'll find out. Oh yeah, I'm still waiting. <laughs> I'm still wearing gloves. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> but I'm not actually lifting weights. Uh, it was a couple of weeks ago. I started feeling some pain on my wrist. So every time I was doing either push ups or push up burpees, that was a pain, was bugging me. So since I was gonna do those push-up burpees here today, I'll put these two bad boys on. <sighs> Which, they work pretty good at keeping my wrist together there. <sighs> All right, time still ticking. And cocoons, I remember doing cocoons in my other video series in which I only did 50 days. I didn't just do 50 days because that's all I wanted to do, more so because this place was completely different then. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go back and watch those videos. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Um, but cocoons are definitely I can definitely feel them in the core. Not that I need to do many core exercises, but I I do them because they're good for my lower back. Stabilizing muscles on my core help my lower back pain. All right, just a few more seconds to go and we'll get back to it. Have to reset this camera. Give me one second. Oh, time will still be ticking. Yep, didn't miss not even a whole second. <laughs> All right. 
time is almost up. And going back to the cocoons. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Time sticking again. I'm gonna grab my water. Well, that's my two year old says. Agua more. Agua. <laughs> Woo. Woo. All right. We'll do one more set of the cocoons and we'll go back to the floor, down to the floor and do the leg races. Should I leave the camera where it is? And actually I'm gonna lower it for this. Next set. And there you go. That should be good. This next set of cocoons will be there, and I'll just have to take this thing out of the way so I can do my two sets of leg races. Sounds like a plan. I'm glad the timer is still going. Okay. Anything new in here? Nothing new. Um, do I have any more updates for you guys? Uh, the pulley cable system. Uh, I'm still planning on putting it in here. I don't know if I'm. Actually, I should. I should use the whenever I install it, but I should you still use the pulley system on a video to show you what I'm going to use it for. Um, I personally prefer free weights over any type of machines or any type of pulley system cable stuff, uh, but definitely it's a very good warm up, especially, especially for my triceps. I remember when I was younger. I uh, used to do uh, tricep push downs and I got a decently developed back then. No, no. <laughs> for some reason the uh, memory of my triceps are is not remembering anything. It has an Alzheimer. I remember back then they were way more defined and had a little more volume on my triceps too. But yes. I've only done tricep twice with free weights, so I can't expect a huge, huge uh, results from them. All right, time's up. Here we go. Take another break. Yep, I am the break man. Take more breaks than what I spend working out. Let's put this away. And 
man. Getting ready to do some. Oh man, I'm, my head is all chopped off. Chopped off. I'll bring it down in a second. Two sets of leg races, and I'm gonna call it a day. January please and end up soon so we can go into the shortest month of the year get that one out of the way too March April June and June should stay here for a little bit for at least like maybe 60 days and then July yeah, July should stay here for like a month and a half. August, August is usually too hot here in PA. And actually, the heat is not the problem, it's the humidity. It's really humid, there's no wind, there's no what I call breeze. It's just blah. It's really uncomfortable to be in PA in August. Time is almost up, and I'm almost down. Let's get my two sets of leg races. Let's take one more set. I'm gonna try to do this leg races to failure we'll try no promises All right. All right, let's do this Oh. Let's take another break. Oh, I definitely felt that one. Whew. Definitely felt that exercise. Ah, oh. why am I so weak? Could be the result of not doing leg races for two weeks. <laughs> Uh, at least that's what it feels like. It was two weeks since last time I did any leg races. Whew. But I definitely felt that one. And for some reason, I feel better on the floor. So, that being said, I might change the these core exercises back down to the floor. 
uh, might include the twist on the floor I'll probably just need a broomstick to do one not a definite on that but if I'm gonna do twist as part of the exercise I'll do it more kind of like a warm-up than anything else but twist motions are good for your obliques at least that's what I hear <laughs> Technically, you don't need to do any uh, ab exercises to have abs. All you need to, all you well, I said all you need to do, but what you need to do to have visible abs is to lose all the body fat in front of your abs. You already have abs; they're just behind all them layers of fat. Whew. That is where I'm gonna go. Well, at least that's my goal going there. Uh, depending on what I'm working out, I can see my veins already popping back out again. You know when I do go on a bicycle ride, oh, which I did yes, yes, I did yesterday. I don't even remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, uh, after doing leg day, I went on a little bike ride. Uh, it was a short one, I only did 30 minutes. And I could see my veins popping out, and I was like, yes, I'm getting there. Once you start seeing vascularity on your arms, on your chest, you know you're getting low, lower on your body fat. And I did get a skin full caliper. Because I couldn't find my own, <laughs> uh, I'll I'll try to figure it out how to measure my body fat percentage. At least I'll follow Scooby's workshop on how to measure it. Because there are different me different methods of measuring body fat percentage. Uh, Scooby's, uh, you actually get to measure uh, on your quads. Uh, so now, not so much in the bag of love handles and whatnot. Uh, but actually, just watch Scooby's video. He'll teach. He'll. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, here we go. Back to the leg races. Last set. That was a good one that was the last set <laughs> of leg races for today but I can't go I cannot go without saying that uh, if you watch Scooby's Scooby's video on how to measure body fat and his body fat uh, percentage calculator uh, you'll notice that he doesn't just take measurements from the upper body also from the lower body uh, simply because it depends on your body type and where your genes and your uh, your genes genetic same thing decide to store fat everything is not stored on the upper body so in my personal opinion that gives you a, a better average of where the body fat percentage is at now that is it for today i'll see you tomorrow adios